For experiment two, a manometer will be used to determine the pressure in the system. The reading on the manometer is the amount that the pressure has been reduced below atmospheric pressure. If the atmospheric pressure is 710 millimeters of mercury and the manometer reads 650 millimeters of mercury, then the pressure in the system is 60 millimeters of mercury. To zero the manometer, make sure the vacuum is off and the system is open to the atmosphere. Turn on the manometer and push the hold button for two to three seconds. To prevent the transfer of grease and moisture to the sample bottle, you will need to use finger cots or a lint-free tissue. Attach the sample bottle to the system, being careful to handle it by the stopcock. Make sure that the path back to the vacuum is open and that any stopcocks that open to the atmosphere are closed. Turn on the vacuum to evacuate all of the gases from the system. When the manometer reading stops increasing, close the stopcock that leads to the vacuum. Check the manometer. If the reading is steady, there are no leaks. If the number is decreasing, there is a leak. To fix the leak, tighten all nuts on the stopcocks and make sure the bottle is firmly attached. Evacuate the system again. Note the manometer reading and immediately close the two stopcocks that lead to the sample bottle. Write down the pressure reading. Remove the closed sample bottle from the system and determine its mass on the balance. Remove the bottle from the balance. To fill the bottle with air, open the stopcock. Determine the new mass on the balance. To fill the system with argon or natural gas, connect the fill tube to the gas tap. Evacuate the system. Fill the system with gas to approximately 50 millimeters of mercury below atmospheric pressure. Repeat the process of evacuating and filling with a gas a total of three times to remove all traces of previous gases.